What's up guys, XR Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. Um, as always, really appreciate you on the video. Hopefully you're staying safe and are doing well. Um, first video like this in ages actually, like months. It's been at least three months I'd say since I've uploaded a Squad Battles video that's not rewards. Um, but yeah, that being said, with these videos I always show the team I use, the tactics, instructions and that. And then I'll show a full game of me... Um, be an ultimate 5-0. Well, I say full game, it's like 60 minutes and then I'll just show clips of what I do for the last 30 minutes. So, that's the team that I use anyway. In-game, oh, didn't mean to click you. In-game, I go to 4 one 2 one 2 wide. Um, pressure on heavy touch. Just, I lit, like, I can't be playing squad battles sat there standing off them. Like, as soon as I lose the ball, I try and get it back. So, pressure on heavy touch. Um, I don't even know how many that is. That is 7 width and 7 depth. Um, again, as I say, as soon as I lose the ball, I just want it back. I'm not standing off the AI. Um, and then fast build-up play, 4-4-2-2. Four, four, two, two. I play this on every single tactics ever. Like, um, on FIFA 20, no matter what formation or team I use, I use these. I don't really know what they do, honestly. Fast build-up, possession, like, I've never tested these out. I've always just played fast build-up. Um, formation, as I say, in-game, I play Cruyff and Ben Yedder striker, because they got the 2-5 star weak foot, which is massive. Pele Cam, Depay and Mahrez out wide, and then Hullet in CDM. And instructions, I don't even know what I put. I leave the front five um, completely alone. I don't touch them at all. I put the, C, uh, the CDM on stay back while attacking, and the fullbacks on stay back while attacking. And that is literally all I do. Um, I don't put anything else. The attackers and that, I just leave completely default to whatever they were on before. And, um, yeah, if it gets to, like, the 70th minute and I need a goal or something, then I will bring on the quick players. I'll, pr uh, I'll usually only sub off, like, Mahrez and Depay, the wingers, for Werner and Sancho. Maybe Pele for Neymar, depending on the stamina issues. But, um, yeah, any questions with a team or tactics, of course, let me know in the comments down below. And let's get into the actual gameplay. Right, so as we get into the gameplay here, I've just fast-forwarded this little early front bit. Um, it's just to show you of me going into the actual game against Ultimate, so people just don't think I'm lying, because, you know, on the internet, people think that I do that. Uh, well, not me specifically, but people on the internet just like to complain about anything. So you can see I'm playing a 90 rated, uh, 92 rated team with 90 chemistry. I'm not going to lie, this was genuinely the first high rated team I played that I recorded. And I thought, you know what, that's good enough. Like, the difference between, like, a 190 and a 92 rated team with 90 chemistry is literally nothing. Um, but yeah, I'm not honestly sure what I'm going to talk about during this video. I'll tell you why I use the tactics, etc. Um, I'll show you, I'll tell you the best ways to attack, the best ways to defend. As I said in the intro, this is the first time that I've done a video like this in absolute months. Um, I was planning on doing a mini-series on it. But then, unfortunately, just stopped playing squad battles. Um, I went back to work and that. I was on furlough during work at one point uh, for a few weeks, which is why I was planning on doing videos. But I went off furlough, went back to work, started streaming as well. So I've not really had time for it, but I decided to play squad battles again this week, which I did actually get first in. So I thought, while I'm there, I may as well record a video. But yeah, I've lost my train of thought already. I don't know where I was starting at. Um, I was going to talk about something, but I've completely forgot. But yeah, that being said, the best way to attack on this game is quite simply, like, just, <laughs> it's going to sound stupid, but run. Like, get the ball with the wingers, or with the cam, or with the strikers, and just sprint in a straight line. You can see I'm doing it here with the CDM. Just sprint, because when you sprint, the defenders start running out of position to chase you down. And this, that is when you can start doing fake shot stops, scoop turns, LB fake shots and that, to get past the defenders. Like, it's so it's so simple, but it's not when I say just sprint. Because obviously, if you sprint in a straight line at a defender, you're just not going to get past. So, it's all about, like, knowing what positions to sprint in. And I say this to everybody. The, the squad battles are the game mode, which 100%, the more you play, the better you will do with it. Because it's not like online where you like um, there's a lot of stuff that's not in your favour that goes against you. The lucky bounces, um, like the drop back. Um, you can literally lose to anybody that plays drop back and holds possession on this game. Whereas squad battles literally is the same stuff over and over again and just learning how they play. Um, that's why I've done so well for so many years. Because I know how they play. Like Realistically, I know when I'm going to score a goal. 
Like, as soon as I get the ball around the halfway line, I can look at the positions of, like, the opponent's defenders and that, and I can see what I need to do and if I'm going to score or not. Um, so, as I say, that's literally just playing the game a lot. The more you'll learn just through playing it. Um, I will bring a video out soon on the top five skill moves to use. They are basically all fake shots, though. Um, especially the fake shot stop is the best one. Always look for through balls as well. It didn't come off there, but the through balls are where it's at. Like, you want to get the ball with the strikers, you run towards, like, the corner or something, fake shot stop, and wait for that can to sprint through the middle. Because when you run... That's why I play 4 one 2 one 2 wide, by the way. Um, because the wingers tend to drag the fullbacks out, and that means you can run more towards the corner because the fullbacks aren't there. And that's where their centre-backs follow you. You can fake shot stops so they're out of position. And then you play the through ball to the cam. Um, which is why you'll see that I run down the wing a lot. And then end up just fake shot stopping inside. Which is exactly what I do there. Um, obviously won't come off every time. But that is the best way of scoring. Defending wise. Honestly it's really simple. It's not simple again. Because if it was that simple everyone would do it. And everyone would just win every game 5-0. But you just need to block the passing lanes inside. Obviously, you're going to concede dodgy goals that you should never concede. Lucky bounces, crosses, stupid goals like that. But realistically, like defending, I'm not joking. If you cut the inside lane, 99% of the time, they try and run out wide. And then when they're out wide, you're fine. Uh, like, the ball is in your court. They're not realistically going to do anything from out wide. Sometimes they'll put in some ridiculous cross between four defenders and they'll tap it in. But realistically, if they've got the ball out wide near the corner flag and that, it's not really any danger to you. Whereas if you let them play the through balls through the middle, they will literally just outpace you straight away. They'll start pinging some Barcelona prime 2010 football around the edge of the box and smash it home. Um, but yeah, you've literally just got to block the inside passes. Um, cut the lanes. If, it's, if they've got the ball with a defender or like midfielders in their own half, I'll sort of just sprint at them. I mean, I don't stand off them that much anyway, because as I say, I play squad battles with a mess around mode, I'm not going to sit back and just let them hold the ball against me. Some games, you've got no choice, like some games against Old I'll win 5-0, but I'll only have like 40% possession, because like the tactics on this game, even squad battles, if they set up in like a 4-2-3-1 and a possession based uh, tactic, then you can't get a ball off them. But... It's just when you do get the ball off them, you've got to make sure that you actually do stuff with it. So, yeah, defending-wise, again, just force them out wide. There's not anything more that I can say on that. Um, it's literally my only defending tactic. Force them out wide, cut the inside lanes. You'll see I'm controlling the CDM. I'm just making sure that he can't pass to that other striker because they'll usually just give it back to me. It's when they start playing one-twos between the strikers and stuff, which is when you start to get in trouble. Which is why you just cut the inside lane and you don't let them pass to the other striker. So, that's defending and attacking spoken about. Honestly, I didn't think this video through that much because I don't really have much more to talk about. I'm not going to lie. I probably should have asked people for some questions beforehand. But yeah, I've completely forgot. Um, obviously, at this stage of the game, I have an insane team as well. Don't let anybody say that team doesn't make a difference. Of course team makes a difference. But, like, I've got this mega team. If you're sat there thinking that you can't win games on Ultimate without a mega team, then you're wrong, because I've done it all year. Um, for anyone that's new to the channel, I have hit first in the world, um, double figure times this FIFA, well over 10 times. Um, even at the start of the year as well, when my team really wasn't that good. So, uh, I pause it here because I'm pretty sure somebody called me from downstairs. It wasn't for any particular reason. So, uh, yeah, I probably should have cut that out, but I didn't. Um, but, yeah, I've hit it loads. Th the main things with squad battles is defenders just have pace. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, you don't really need, obviously, defending helps, but it's all about pace when defending because they just sort of try and run at you, as I say, down the wings. So, you want to make sure that you can keep up with them. Uh, the CDM doesn't really matter. Um, I like a big guy like Hullet in CDM to win the ball back. So that doesn't matter that much. The wingers, just make sure you got pace. I very rarely ever shoot with my wingers anyway. I only use the wingers to get the ball and literally sprint down the lines and then cut inside. The cam needs to have pace and needs to have a decent shot. 
Um, as I say, I score a lot of goals with a cam because I fake shot stop with the strikers and wait for the cams to sprint through. So they obviously need pace and then they need half decent finishing to be able to actually finish the ball when they get throw on goal. And strikers, five star weak foot is massive. Um, that's exactly why uh, I'll check, I'll, usually at half time as well in that, I check like how many corners and shots on target I've had so I know what to work on in the second half. But um, yeah, the strikers, five star weak foot for me on this game is huge. Being able to turn either way, um, it's obviously bigger online because they're easier to read online if you've only got a three star weak foot player or something. But even on squad battles, being able to shoot either side on somebody's foot just makes all the difference. Like I'm at the stage of the game now where I would not use a striker, I don't think, if he didn't have five star weak foot. Unless it was just some ridiculous card like... I'd, like if I packed an Mbappe team of the season I'm tradable, obviously I would still use him. But there's a reason that team of the season Mbappe was only going for like less than 3 million. And the foot birthday Mbappe, even though he's a 94 compared to the team of the season 98, goes for 4 million. Because on this game, the 5 star weak foot is huge. So yeah, I would always recommend 5 star weak foot strikers. Um, even if the finishing's not as good... I would highly recommend them, which even genuinely, like a normal Ben Yedda on squad battles would still be fine. So at this stage of the game, I'm 5-0 up, um, I've not got anything to do now, so uh, like I've, I've scored 5 goals, you don't get any more points for 5 goals. So this is where I literally get the ball and I start shooting near post. Um, shooting near post for me is the most effective way because it gets you the shots on target and it gets you the corners at the same time. You'll see again, I run inside, just go for the shot, that'll be a shot on target and a corner. For people that didn't know, you get points for up to 10 shots on target, you get 10 points per shot on target, up to 10. So that's an extra 100 points you can get for shots on target. And corners, you get an extra 5 points per corner, up to 10 as well. So that's another 50 points you can get in the game. So that's 150 points just from shots on target and corners. Um, obviously it doesn't always work, but I just get the ball and I shoot near post, pretty much all I do. Uh, so yeah, you also get um, more points for the more possession you have, the more passing accuracy and that. That doesn't make as much difference, like the difference between 50% and 60% possession is only like 10 points, so it's not much. But this is what I do come towards the end of the game as well, guys. Um, I've got all the shots on target, I've got a lot of corners already, so it doesn't matter that much. I literally just scoop turn, run out, run back in. Like, it's as simple as that. The fake shot stop doesn't work against high rated teams on ultimate, or any ultimate, um, unfortunately. It works against like low rated teams on legendary and any team lower than legendary, but high rated teams on ultimate, it doesn't work against, which is why I don't do the fake shot stop. So you can see I've got 11 shots on target, so I'll get the full 100 points for that. 56% possession to 56, seven corners which is still 35 points, and I got 95% pass accuracy. And that 5-0 win against Ultimate gets me 3,452 points, which if you do that every game, is easily first in the world, which is what I got. So yeah, really appreciate you guys being here and watching the video. Hopefully it's helped. Um, people moaned when I'd done a legendary video saying that they needed Ultimate, and then when I'd done Ultimate, they moaned saying that they needed a high-rated Ultimate. So here you go. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but hopefully it helps people in the long run. Really appreciate you being here. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.